Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, and today we're going to take a look at the new templates that are actually available for you on your email campaigns. Now, a couple things to note, in order to actually utilize the email campaigns as of today, so as of February 3rd, you will need to have MailChimp set up. Now, that may change in the near future, but in order to utilize email campaigns inside Command, you will need that activated. So to see if you have this set up, just click on your name at the top right, and go to settings, about that third option down on here. All right, and once we go to settings, it's going to show all of your connected applications to command. <laughs> this one, I'm using, a, I'm in Chrome actually. No, it's not, it's not pulling up on here. That's okay. All right, so when this actually does pull up, then you can actually see your MailChimp settings on there. All right, so it would say if MailChimp was connected in this case. All right, so it looks like it's uh, acting a little funky over here inside Chrome for me today. That's okay. All right, but that's the best way to actually go through inside your settings to access it immediately. And once again, if that ever happens to you, I'm not doing it, but try an incognito mode. Once again, top right, these little three lines on here, or sorry, three dots, you can actually go to the new incognito window, and then that should override everything immediately. All right, so I just wanted to give you a heads up, you will need MailChimp, but to access the campaigns, you would still go to your normal campaign section like we have right over here. All right, so if you've been creating any type of Facebook ads, any type of Google ads, uh, geez, any type of postcard mailouts, whatever it might be, you'll actually have email options on here too. Now, these aren't going to be, you know, full-on campaigns or anything like that, like the 33 Touch, 12 Direct 8x8, stuff of that sort. All right, but in this case, at least you'll have two new templates that you can utilize immediately to tweak even further. All right, so per the norm, we can actually see our four different options up here for the campaigns. And if you click on the Create a New Campaign option at the top right up here, all right, then you can actually select the Email section. Now, this is where if you don't have MailChimp linked up, it won't actually allow you to move forward on it. So once I click on Email on here, it'll allow me to move forward. All right, and then I can actually go through and I can name my campaign, select my account I'm going to send it from. I can actually select the recipient list on here too. All right, so in this case, it's going to link up with your MailChimp account so you can select that list. Don't click the add list option up here though, just to give you a heads up. All right, I've seen a lot of agents that'll click add list and it won't allow you to actually add a list on here, unfortunately, at least not quite yet. So the list will need to be inside MailChimp already. All right, and then of course, if we scroll down even further, you're gonna notice that you can actually see the content section, select a design template for your email. So if I click on apply design on here, all right, now I can actually pull up the KWRI templates or my design templates. So basically any template that I may have created previously or I can create a new one on here. But this is where you can actually see the KWRI templates on here for the two newsletter options they have available for you. Now once again, this is exactly what it sounds like. It's a template, so it's just gonna give you options once you click on it. So I'm gonna click on it real quick, where we can go through and tweak this ourselves. All right, so as you can see, it's gonna put inside some of our information from that marketing profile. So we can see our first name, last name, phone number, website address, designation. On here, we can actually go through and upload our agent photo. All right, and it's gonna show the different dimensions option on there or the DBA logo. And as you can see, it's automatically populating on here. We can put inside a banner image on here as well, put inside our headline. Obviously, there's an option for a month on here too and a year. All right, we can put inside our other headline for our actual section on here. So it's gonna have different section options for us where we can have our first section, our second, so on and so forth. And if we scroll over here, we can actually get an idea as to what this is looking like. All right, so that way you can see, all right, this is what's gonna display on here. So much like a normal newsletter, maybe you actually wanna feature on here, you know, recent updates inside real estate, something around the area. Maybe you wanna put inside some, you know, new listings that you happen to have, recent closings or testimonials. All right, whatever it might be that you wanna add inside on here, but if you notice, you can actually just go through and tweak this even further. So if I put inside some info on here, all right, so new updates in the Orlando area. All right, then that'll automatically start to update over here so I can get an idea as to what this is gonna look like. So maybe I wanna say, Scott Leroy, marketing monthly update. And I'm gonna put inside here month and year. So I'm gonna put inside for February, 2020. All right, it'll start to automatically update on here. So as you can see, we can go through and tweak this even further. And then of course, same thing. We can drag and drop to obviously add inside images on here. If you notice, it has to be a JPEG or PNG of one megabyte or smaller, all right? And in this case, it looks like it's gonna be like a square type image, so you might wanna add that in too. 
All right, but you can actually go through and tweak all of this, and it's that simple. You literally just click on it, and you start to type inside your information, and it'll automatically add that in for you. All right, so this is the cool part, is it'll automatically sync up with your marketing profile, so some of this information will automatically display for you. And then beyond that, you can just go through and copy and paste whatever you want to add inside. All right, and then once you actually apply this, it'll update, and you can actually send that out immediately. All right, so I just want to show you where you can actually go through and find those new designs on here. So once again, there are two templates you can currently utilize to go through and tweak it even further. All right, and hopefully there'll be more very soon. All right, but this is a great start for you to actually utilize this immediately. All right, so once again, remember a couple things. One, you need to have MailChimp set up, all right, and that is free for up to 2,000 contacts, and you can send up to 10,000 emails a month. All right, and you, some of the information that you will need that'll auto-populate on here to help you out is going to be under that settings section under your connect settings for your marketing profile. So make sure you have that filled out too, and that'll help you out tremendously. All right, so that's how simple it is to find the new templates immediately so you can start to send this out to your database right, so you can actually have a monthly update. So there you go. So that is your K2B command tip for the day.